What's up manga fans, this is Raphael from C Manga and I'm here to give you a review of this week's chapter of The Breaker New Ways 1, 4 and 9. So today's chapter was more or less a setup. there wasn't much action content going into it and um, it kind of did drag out a bit but regard disregarding that I've still found it quite um, enjoyable because it was very interesting how this is setting up um, what to expect in the next few chapters and obviously the finale of New Ways, things are getting a lot more tense, a lot more heated up and the world um, in Br the Breaker itself seems like it's going to um, basically fall into chaos um, and Kaiser is the mastermind behind all of this he seems like he's enjoying himself he's getting what he wants and Chang Wu more or less seems like the scapegoat who's being used by all of this and it just makes me wonder what the hell's going through his head yeah, but other than hearing um, <coughs> she wouldn't say in teach or master so um, what I once again loved about this chapter was Sarah Kang being on point as usual she's always um, well informative and well ahead of the game and even Kang Sung himself was shocked um, hearing the news about how Chung Wu has you know police um, allies in you know the or I mean as followers in the police um, so that's why I said I really love her character she's really you know obviously ahead of it we all um indeed we see a flashback of she when talking to her so he's he's being informed about the situation um and basically how this is going to cause a break between the mirror world and the normal world and she also informs him to stay put because um as he's a mirror part of the mirror them getting involved is just going to cause more havoc between the government so he's just basically told to observe even no matter how hard it is um after that we see um, a police um, helicopter arrive which is um, obviously um, under SUC command and this confuses the police officer because they're wondering what's happening what are we supposed to do and this is just like all the events before that conveniently helped the Nine Arts um, crew move along a fake message was sent out and basically saying to escort the Nine Arts crew um, out away safely from the area be, and it was like a false message saying we're arresting them but it's like we're not arresting them in the way where you know they would be put in the back of a van or something they're being escorted away by helicopter and not even a um, handcuffed or anything so all the police are thinking what are we doing what and but there's nothing they can do because they think it's a higher up order and um indeed jay gal steps out and welcomes song um chung Wu um officially himself which is basically, you might also say, the start of him and um, being aligned aligned to the SUC. Um, the Zhong Lei Wang, once again, he's an idiot. Hai Ilgan um, literally gave him some good advice, head to the Murum Alliance, and he just didn't want to hear it because he's just an idiot, thinks he's going to be able to catch um, Chong Wu. So um, he tries to basically... Um, command the police that aren't uh, um, following Chung Wu and tells them to stay put, which ended up nearly costing his life because Chung Wu's about to um, attack him. Um, but Hai Ilgan got in the way, basically, you might as well say took the freaking blow for him because he kicked Chung Wu and then ended up getting knocked several feet away into a tank. And then, you know, after that, beaten up a bit and choked. And if it wasn't for Jay Gao stepping in and saying we've wasted enough time, the master needs to see you, he would have indeed died, but luckily he survived. And the Nine Arts crew basically um, left on the helicopter and that was the end of that. Um, what I found enjoyable after that was Hai Ilgan telling Zhong Lei Wan basically what the situation is. He's completely out of the loop, he's an idiot and he's basically now being used by Xi Wen as a... Um, scapegoat as well and they're linked to the government um hi ilgan said i've saved you because you know we have because i was under orders by the guide you to save you you now are going to work with the mirror alliance and you obey everything um she tells you to do and this is obviously something that's very much needed because sarah can said if they didn't join their forces with the government soon as you see and obviously black forest defense with their little um police force as well would obviously destroy them quite um, quickly and quite easily. So yeah, she was fought over here. He's basically put aside. He's obviously hatred and annoyance for Zhong Lei Wang, and basically said we got to use this guy. And yeah, um, so now there's no chance of him being killed anytime soon. So yeah, that's it. Um, basically, what to expect. Um, this is something we did predict last time anyway that he would join up because there's going to have to be alliance between the Murum and the government. Um, 
another interesting part was Chung Wu's um, still in denial. He was thinking about Shi Wun and hearing his voice in his head all this time, and he's basically brushing it off, saying, "Oh, it's nothing. I didn't know that kid." When he was asked by someone else um, in the helicopter. Um, so the last part um, of this chapter, you might as well say, was Sarah Kang basically confirming to Shi Wen um, Chang Wu is no longer his master. His status in the world is um, now very much compromised, and he's a massive criminal, not only to the mirror mob, to the government, because he's broken the disagreement with that. And Shi Wen has to cut his ties with him because he will be seen as helping um, the SUC if he still um, sides with Chang Wu. So this is where I'm thinking that. Um, she was going to struggle with his feelings and thoughts for his master and he's eventually going to have to fight against him which is kind of obvious but we'll see what happens um, we still got remember um, um, Shiho basically to bring him back so I'm guessing that's a factor that will maybe bring him back to his side or blow some sense into his brain um, and yeah this is the last um, interesting part um, that I keep saying interesting but this is the final part where we see Kaiser is showing the whole scene on video in a cinema to the group of five and I'm guessing some of the Black Forest defense just to prove his plans potentially he's like wasn't that a wonderful beginning and um, it just shows that Chung Wu is a bigger um, being used in a bigger scheme like Sarah Kang might have thought because um, she did suggest that to Shi Wu um, who was wondering why he's acting like this and it's true he's literally being used by kaiser kaiser is enjoying himself he's getting his plans ready and um yeah it's basically more or less um going everything's going according to plan and things are just going to be chaos from there on now um what i found interesting is the um group of five seem to be quite dense with modern society it's like why is there so many murum in that um area where chong Wu was and Kaiser basically says that most capitals in the world are like um, Seoul now. There's a lot of people that will use Starbucks, McDonald's. You can't tell the difference between Miriam and normal people. So, yeah, um, this probably will make his plan much more easier. And he's saying like the Chung Chung Woon being followed by the police who protect the government. That is going to cause so much chaos and conflict between the two worlds. And this is exactly what he wants. And then obviously his plan will go to plan. I mean, his plan will obviously come through when um you know that happens chung Wu will take over Seoul um most likely soon and then the world will go into chaos and then he can basically start taking up governments and um taking over capitals in the world that have mirror influence and this will all be fine for him and he'll be happy about it so yeah literally kaiser is you know as i said the um mastermind behind all of this no one seems to be at his level except for sarah kang but even she's struggling because of obviously her um, resources are not as powerful as his is so yeah right now this is literally what this chapter is showing chaos is going to happen from here on out and I can't wait to see it so um, yeah bring on the next chapter I've predicted what I think will happen is lots of chaos from um, obviously the divides being now being severed and the two worlds being merged together so yeah expect more chaos so anyway, I've rambled on um, too much. Um, you've heard what I've thought about this chapter. What do you guys think? Did you enjoy it? Was it boring? Was it too long? Or were you excited? Um, let me know what you think. And also, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this review, subscribe for more content um, as you'll find similar stuff on our channel. And I'll speak to you guys next time.